behaved, out, sent, and drafts. Okay? So that's what, uh, what the mailbox looks like. You have to think in terms of email now when you're communicating with your fleet manager. Let's assume there's a message in there that you want to respond to to your fleet manager. How do you do that? Very simply is this. Tap on email. It's going to ask you for what contact, so you simply tap on contacts. And here it lists everyone in operations that you want to send a message to. So tap on that. Now you can send that same email to multiple people. So what you would do is simply select more people and indicate by a blue check. So this pops up, which is your message field. To activate the keyboard, simply tap on this, type in your message. I just simply put a test message, get rid of the keyboard, hit send. You can select now, later, or cancel. We're going to hit now, and off it goes. So that's your inbox. The next one over is your duty status. That's going to show all of the available categories that you have available to you to change your duty status to. Off-duty, off-duty break, sleeper, split sleeper berth, driving, on duty, loading, unloading, fuel, inspect, and other. Some of these ones down here, like loading and unloading, you'll never use. To change your duty status, what you're going to do is tap on whatever it is you want to change it to. It shows what your current duty status is, what you want to change it to, and you would confirm it by hitting the blue check, and it simply changes your duty status. Here's where you review your, your logs. Simply tap on that, tap on the view hours of service icon. It shows you available 11 and 14, the time amount of time before your 30 minute break and the available hours that you have on your 70. And if you scroll through here, it shows you all of your current day activities and any changes or adjustments that you've made to your logs. To actually view the graph, you would simply hit the one day and it pulls up the graph for that day. Okay, this here, is to view your hours of service for Canada and the United States. Because PeopleNet's a smart device, it automatically defaults to the United States. If you want to change it to Canadian, you would simply tap that, and it asks you if you want to do that. The good thing about PeopleNet is that it's a smart device, so you don't have to change uh, to, your, to Canadian hours of service when you get to the border. It's going to automatically do that for you. Naturally, before you cross over, you want to make sure you're legal in both directions, that you're legal coming back in the United States or legal going into Canada. That's your inspection, which was your EDVIR, which we showed you earlier. This is something you need to keep current. You're going to go ahead and change your load information. You would simply hit the updates, hit load. And earlier, I put in zero trader and zero shipping information. What you're going to do is put your new trader number in there, which in this case is 47865. And the load number is 8513489. Get rid of the keyboard, hit that, and it changes it. So you're in DOT compliance. Transmitting your logs. Let's assume for a minute you're being DOT'd and the officer asks you, to transmit your logs. What you would simply do is go to the transmit icon and you have the option to put a fax number or the actual officer's email address. Once you fill out that, this icon here would change from gray to blue, hit the check mark, and it transmits the, off the uh, logs to the officer. We're gonna go back to the main screen. Certifying logs we talked about. This is for DOT inspections. This is, gives the officer the ability to look at your logs in the same way you do the one day seven day, eight day, and your summary. And it will transmit that once you uh, do the steps that we talked about. Okay, default home screen, that simply is page two advanced, brings you to the secondary screen. This, these ones we've already talked about. This is your vehicle, basically um, what the shop would use. Can you look at it? Absolutely. We'll go back to that screen. This is where you would log out. This is a CFI, what I call the happy driver, kind of an expressionless driver, got no uh, facial expression. If you wanted to log out of the truck, you would hit log out. In the event you want to log into the truck, say it's a new truck, obviously you'd hit log in, and we'd go through that whole process again.